So the next field is the password field. When you add a password field on your form, it doesn't display what the user types in. So this means that each keystroke is represented on the screen by a placeholder character such as bullet or an asterisk. So in the field option, you can see various options like enable password confirmation. So enabling this option will add a confirm password field in here. Next one is enable password strength meter. Enabling this option will show a password strength meter on the front end of the form to the user input. So you can see that there are two choices, simple text and progress bar. So when you choose simple text, text for the password strength like weak or strong will be displayed on the front end like this. And similarly, if you choose the progress bar, the progress bar option with a bar displayed in different colors will be displayed in the front end. Next we have is the enable password validation. So the Everest form plugin has introduced this feature to check a password validation. When you enable this option, it will tell your users to type in a password with at least one lowercase character, one uppercase character, one number, one special character and minimum 8 characters. And lastly, you can see an option called enable show and hide password. Enabling this option will add the show and hide feature to your password field so that users can view or hide the entered password on the front end. Now under the advanced settings, you can add placeholder text, hide label, hide sub-labels and make other changes as per your requirement.